fit. How did this happen? Like, how did this happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> making this video is making me so nervous but i put it off for so long it's, hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's right here and today you guys already know by the title like y'all already know by the title it's about to be a little chit chat okay a little story time chit chat girl talk whatever you want to call it um to answer the question yes i am pregnant yes i am pregnant and i know some of y'all are like girl how did this happen like how did you let this happen? Was this planned? Was this unplanned? Were you not taking precaution? Like, how did we get here? Oh yeah, I'm about to just let y'all know. Like, I'm about to just spill it all out from the top to the end to now. Um, like Michael Ty say, we about to just be, it's about to get hot in here, okay? It's about to get hot in here. Yeah, I'm not going, I'm not going to do too much rambling. Like, let's just get right into it. In this video, I'm just going to be asking a couple of questions. I believe I posted on my Instagram. It was a while back. Like, y'all just don't know how long I've been postponing this video. I'm 29 weeks. I'm 29 weeks pregnant. And so, I should have been came out with this video saying that I'm pregnant and all that. But it was some weeks ago that I posted on my Instagram, you know, asking questions about my pregnancy. And all of these questions didn't come from that post. Or I'm not answering all the questions that came from the post. But there's some good questions in here, okay? I feel like they're all really good questions. So, number one, how did this happen? Like, how did this happen? Was this planned or was this not planned? What was going on? Like, just how did this happen? So, one, to answer the question, it was not planned. No, this was not planned. Um, it just kind of happened. Like, it just kind of happened. A lot of people say like, Okay, if you weren't being cautious or if you weren't taking any contraceptives, then it was pretty much planned because you knew what you was doing. Well, yes and no. So, to start from the beginning, way, way, way back from the top, I have been dating this guy for six years. So, dating this guy for a really, really, really long time. Yes, I was taking contraceptives. Yes, I was on birth control. I started taking birth control in high school. I started taking birth control in high school because me and this guy was dating and my mom saw that, you know, this is getting serious. You know, like y'all been dating for a long time. This is getting serious. And she was just like, um, I think it'd be good for you to get on birth control, you know, like, I'm not saying that you're doing anything. I'm not saying that you you will do anything. But, you know, this relationship is being serious and I just want to be cautious. So, I think it'll be good for you to get on birth control. So, at the time, I didn't feel no type of way about birth control, getting on birth control. Like, I didn't feel no type of way about it. So, I was just like, okay, yeah. Go to the woman's doctor, you know, start getting checkups and boom i got put on birth control that was just that so fast forward to college i'm still with the same guy and i mean i guess i guess it is a good thing that my mom did put, did put me on birth control because eventually obviously we ended up doing the do okay so we started doing the do boom fast forward to college I just really started growing as a person. Like my values started to change or my eyes started to be open. Like what mattered back in high school didn't matter now. Like I started growing as a person um, mentally and spiritually. And so in that growth, I started to feel convicted about doing the do. I started to feel bad about it. Like I, I feel that I was heavily convicted on doing that like yes i have been doing it yes it's already too late doing it before marriage but that doesn't mean that i had to keep doing it so i wasn't comfortable doing that and, and just not liking the act so with that being said i took it upon myself to stop taking birth control i took it upon myself to stop taking my birth control as a way to hold me accountable 
Um, and obviously that was not good. <laughs> But I'm thinking like, okay, if I know I'm not taking my birth control, then I know I'm not going to do anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like my way of holding myself accountable because in a way I felt like maybe I had just been doing it because I know I'm on birth control and I know it's been working. So I know like I'm not going to get pregnant. I'm going to be okay. So boom, I stopped taking my birth control. Um, like I said, the reason this came about was because I was really feeling heavily convicted. So I did communicate that that part to my partner. Like, okay, this isn't something that I want to just keep doing. But I did not communicate to him that I stopped taking birth control. He had no clue that I stopped taking my birth control. But when I communicated to him that, you know, I wasn't feeling doing this anymore, um... I feel like he was on board, but he didn't take it as serious as I took it because it wasn't his conviction. Like, it wasn't him that was feeling bad about it. It was me. So he was just kind of going along with it, you know, like, okay, you know, that's fine. That's, I'm cool with that. But he just didn't, I feel that he just didn't take it as serious. But he also never, like, pressured me or anything like that. So um, he just kind of went along with it. So I ended up, I stopped taking my birth control and for a long, long period of time, I went without doing anything, like very proud of myself. But of course, of course, one day, one night, hell, I don't even know. I don't even remember the day or the night or what happened, when, what was the occasion. I honestly don't remember, but it happened, okay? Long story short, I was on birth control. I stopped taking my birth control. And then I got caught slipping. Boom. Boom. Here we are. I got pregnant. And it only took that one time, which is crazy because it's like, it only took that one time. Okay. It only took that one time and boom. Here I am. I'm pregnant. And yeah, that's how we got here. Now, the second question everybody wants to know is how did you find out? Like, how did you find out you was pregnant? A lot of people have missed cycles, but... For me, that wasn't the case. Like, how I found out, a lot of y'all are gonna think it's strange. Like, that don't mean nothing, but the whole story. So, let me tell y'all. So, I found out around spring break time. It was spring break. It was exactly spring break. I was home for spring break. So, we went to go ride the horse, you know, like usual. Y'all may or may not know, but I'm from the country. Like, I just, I grew up riding four wheelers and horses and all that just on the regular so it was nothing just to go ride the horse i started riding the horse and my boobs were killing me like killing me like i don't know i don't know what type of pains or soreness or what y'all go through when you're on your cycle but i've never experienced cramps i've never experienced any type of like really any type of pain when my cycle comes on. So when I felt this, like, I knew, like, I knew, <laughs> I knew. It's like every single step the horse took, it was like, oh my gosh. Like, I couldn't even stop. I couldn't even finish riding. It was immediately, like, I did not ride the horse for long at all. Like, I was like, I gotta get down. Something ain't right. I, and it was a pain that I could not take. Like, and before this, like, I, I wasn't experiencing that pain or any type of soreness. Like, and it immediately stopped once I got down from the horse. Like, it was just from me bouncing up and down. In the back of my mind, I'm like, is this really happening? Like, is this really happening? Like, I knew. I knew. It was at that point that I knew, like I knew. At the end of the day, I knew what I had been doing and I knew what I had not been doing. I knew I had been taking my birth control and I knew what had been done. So I just knew like, but before that moment, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have any suspicion or any worries. Like it just didn't cross my mind. But in that moment, riding that horse, like I knew. So that's how I found out. I really didn't mention anything to my boyfriend but my best friend was with me and I was like, I think I'm pregnant. And <laughs> y'all know she like, bitch, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think I'm pregnant. 
I felt like I had to say something to somebody because I couldn't keep it in, but I'm really like worrying, like worrying this whole day. It was on my mind the whole day. But again, it was spring break and I didn't really want to mention it to anybody else because I didn't know for sure. Y'all know like how you know something in your gut, you know, but I hadn't been to the doctor yet for it to be confirmed. Like it hasn't been set in stone. So I didn't want to go telling anybody else. After that day, I'm going through the rest of the spring break and I hadn't had no other symptoms. Like I wasn't feeling sick. My boobs wasn't hurting on the regular. So fast forward towards the end of spring break, right before it was time for me to go back to school, my mom and I decided to go have brunch together, you know? before i go back to school just have some little time together whatnot so we decided to go to the cafe down the street downtown and i didn't say anything to her i never like gave her no sign of worry none of that none of that so we decided to go eat and i really didn't want a big breakfast i always usually eat light for breakfast so i ordered some eggs a yogurt parfait and some bacon i think like, I didn't order much at all. And so me and my mom are talking, you know, enjoying ourselves and the waiter comes out and she sat the eggs right in front of me. And when I tell y'all, I was so disgusted. Like I was so disgusted. I didn't necessarily have to throw up or got really nauseous, but I was just like disgusted. And I was trying not to be disgusted in front of my mom so you know she wouldn't be worried like what's wrong but i couldn't hide it like if you know me if you know me you know my facial expression is gonna tell it all like my face gonna tell it all even if i'm not trying my face clearly said it all and i don't know if it was the smell or what how they looked i don't know i, I just know i was disgusted i didn't want them and she looked at me and she was just like my granddaddy on the way huh I kid y'all not. She was like, my grandbaby on the way. And I was just like, <laughs> you know, like I didn't know what to say. I, I didn't know what to say. She just started laughing and she was like, yeah, my grandbaby on the way. My grandbaby is on the way. She started to get excited because believe it or not, y'all, my mama been ready, been, been, been ready to be a grandma. Like, she been, been, been ready for grandkids because if you know my mom, my mom gonna spoil some kids, okay? She gonna spoil some kids, but having her own, you know, that's a whole nother thing. So she been ready for some grandkids, been asking for some grandkids, you know, not that she was promoting, you know, getting pregnant or whatnot, but she was just ready. And I was just like, maybe. You know, maybe, like, I don't know yet. And so she was like, I know, I know, that's okay. You don't have to know, I already know. Cause y'all know mamas be knowing, like, I didn't say a word to her. I didn't say a word to her. And it's like, she already knew. She started asking me, you know, how I've been feeling, you know, have I missed my cycle or whatnot. And I just told her about the incident with the horse. And um, so yeah, that could seem very, very small, just boob pain, but y'all, it wasn't small, like I know. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even waste my money on no pregnancy tests. Like I was not gonna go to the store and buy no pregnancy tests. I know you can get them cheap or whatnot, but we have an on-campus nurse station or clinic, whatever, right there on campus. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna waste my time going to get a pregnancy test because I'm gonna feel suspicious about it anyway, buying the test from the store. I'm just go straight to the doctor. I'm gonna go straight to the clinic and let them tell me. I went to the health center on campus and, oh no, let me tell y'all, I had to make an appointment. It was appointment basis only. So I had to make an appointment before going and then I went the following day, like that morning. I get there and the student, nursing students, work or help out in the clinic. So I walk up to the window and it's a, nursing student there helping out and so I walk up and I'm like hi I made an appointment yesterday um, my name is Mariah I'm here for my appointment so she asked me for my ID card and I gave it to her and she's pulling up my appointment or whatever so she asked me she's like okay so what brings you in what what are you being seen for today I told her I would like to take a pregnancy test and she said oh so you think you're pregnant Yes, I think I'm pregnant, okay? Like, I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm pregnant. I'm here to take a pregnancy test. Are you trying to make me feel bad or what? She ain't had to do all that extra plus. I put on my appointment what I wanted to be seen for. So you saw it on the computer. But anyways, don't make me feel bad here, sis. I'm just here to take my test and dip. She's like, okay, so I'll get you checked in, fill out this paperwork, da da da. Y'all know how I'll be in the clinic if it's your first time going there. So a doctor or a nurse, a real nurse, calls me back and I take the test and it was very, very quick. I go to the room, she's like, once you finish taking your test, you're gonna come in this room right here and then we're gonna review the results. I take the test, I go in the room and she's like, okay, so this line here is your such and such levels. I don't even remember, I don't know, I don't remember what she said. And then the second line here tells us if you're pregnant or not. So I'm pregnant and she was like, yes, you're pregnant. She, she could have said just, you know, one line means you're not pregnant, two lines mean you are. But in that moment, I was kind of like, I wasn't really surprised, but it was just confirmation. Like, because I had already known, you know what I mean? But just hearing that, I definitely started crying. It wasn't tears of disappointment. Like, I was not upset. I wasn't crying because, like, oh snap, I'm pregnant. I was crying just because... I don't know, it was overwhelming. Well, not overwhelming. I guess I was overwhelmed with emotions, but I guess it was just a reality. Like, wow, I'm pregnant. Like, I don't know, This it was just a reality. And I think what made me not so disappointed was the support of my mom. Like my mom knowing beforehand and being excited versus, you know, how most moms can be very um, disappointed in their child. I feel like I knew that I had the support and I knew that I would, this isn't something that I would really be bashed for. So I think that's what really kept me from being so disappointed. So I called my boyfriend, I FaceTime my boyfriend and he sees me crying and I couldn't hold it because he was at work. I knew that he was at work or whatever and i was gonna try to wait until he got off but i couldn't hold it like i had to call him and tell him so he saw me crying he noticed that i was crying you know i just told him like i'm pregnant and he was like wow you know like it was a reality for him too so leaving leaving the doctor's office i talked to him and i also called my mom and y'all this is something that i wish i would have recorded and i told her like mom i'm leaving the doctor's office and it's true, like I'm pregnant. And her reaction like was so joyous. I wish I would have recorded it. She made me feel like, you know, there's not a single thing to worry about. There's not a worry in the world. Like you're gonna be okay, we're gonna be okay. She also made me feel like this wasn't us thing. Like we're in this together, you're not by yourself. Don't make me get emotional, but she was just very, very excited. And I really thank my family for supporting me. So the next question was, how do you feel about being pregnant? At first, I was, you know, when I very first found out that spring break week, I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? I can't believe this is happening. But I feel like from the very moment that I actually found out and I told my mom and I felt that support and that love and not any judgment, I felt great. Like from that point forward, I've been so excited, y'all. Really, really excited would be the most basic answer, but a deeper answer would be I feel that this is purpose. Like, of course, that wasn't my first time doing the do. And so I feel like at any point I could have got pregnant. The only way to not get pregnant 100% is to not have sex and so i feel like really at any point in which the very first day i started doing those actions i could have gotten pregnant one thing equals the other so that's just that i really feel that god allowed this to happen you know because before it could have happened at any time however it did when i think of it in a sense that god allowed this to happen that part really gives me peace like it really really does so the next question how does your family feel my family is extremely excited. It was the very opposite of unexpected for my family because like I said, me and my partner had been dating for a really long time. So it was low key expected, but we have lots of lots of support. And that's something that I'm extremely grateful for. Like I don't look past all the support at all. So is pregnancy how I always thought it would be? No. Like, no, 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 not at all. I don't know how I thought it would be. 
well no i do know how i thought it would be before getting pregnant i thought pregnancy was really just a breeze like before getting pregnant i would always say you know when i get pregnant i want to be really really big like i want my belly to be so perfectly round and plump but i never really thought about all the bodily changes and hormones and all that extra stuff that comes with pregnancy i think i was really just thinking about the belly but not once was i thinking about like all the changes and stuff like that that came with it if i'm being honest i really really thought pregnant people were being dramatic like i really really underestimated pregnancy and what women go through like I thought women were being dramatic. Like, I thought, like, come on, y'all just over-exaggerating. Y'all really over-exaggerating. Like, how pregnant women would be like, Girl, just looking at that piece of chicken, I had to throw up. Or just smelling McDonald's made me throw up. I could not take it. I thought they were being dramatic, but no, they for real. Like, believe a pregnant woman whenever she's, whatever she say, even if it's not even her being sick or nauseous, whatever she say, whatever pain she's going through, whatever feeling she's feeling, believe her, okay? Because we not over exaggerating. Like, this stuff is real. You cannot make this stuff up. So another question that I always get, what are your pregnancy cravings? For me personally, I don't have like a set pregnancy craving like, I, oh, I'm always wanting this or I'm always wanting that. For me, it's just like, I know what I want when I want it. I'm not always craving a certain thing, but when I'm craving something, I want it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, just the other day, not even the other day, this was last night. It was 12 o'clock midnight and I could not go to sleep because I really wanted Taco Bell. Like. Taco Bell? Really? You can't go to sleep because you want Taco Bell? But no, it was that serious. Like, I got up at 12 o'clock midnight and I went to Taco Bell because that's what I wanted. Now, in the beginning for a short period of time, I was stuck on Fruit Loops. Like, I'm not gonna lie. All I wanted was a bowl of Fruit Loops. Just Fruit Loops. And me and my sister, it's sad. I'm like, are you pregnant too, sis? Because she sat there and she ate buku boxes of um, Fruit Loops with me. So yeah when a pregnant woman is craving something like they you cannot get past it you can there's no getting over it getting past it like you gotta have it and you cannot move on with your life if you don't get it um what is something irritating about your pregnancy so far now that i am 29 weeks and my belly has grown and gotten big really just getting comfortable at night like my baby wants to move around the absolute most whenever i lay down like and it's time to go to sleep she wants to do the most she wants to bounce around like it's a playpen in there like baby i'm trying to go to sleep i'm trying to go to sleep you should have did this while we was up but no even aside from her moving and all like it's just really really hard to get comfortable with a big belly like it's just really hard to get comfortable but also another thing that's been irritating for me is feeling tired like i really underestimated how tired pregnant people can get some days it's like just waking up and getting out of bed and getting dressed is the most hardest thing to do like you're just so tired okay sorry about that my camera died so i had to change to record it on my phone but like I was saying, some days you wake up feeling so, so great. And so you think you can run all these errands. One day I woke up feeling so good. And so I decided to go to the grocery store to make groceries. And after making groceries, I had to come back home. Like I had to come back home. I was so freaking drained and so tired as if I had did a whole day's worth of work. And I hadn't done nothing but go to the grocery store and picked up a few items. But like that was it, that was it for today. I was done for today. I couldn't do nothing else. A pregnancy tired is a whole nother different tired. Like you just, you gotta go with it. Like you just gotta go with it. Sometimes that can make me feel a little bit depressed because just being in the house, sleeping all day, like I'm not the type of person who enjoys just being in the house and sleeping all day. Like I like to go out, get some sunlight. And so I feel like when I don't go out and get some sunlight, I start feeling depressed. You know, it really becomes like a mental thing. So you have to just let your body do what it does. Like if it's tired and you need more rest, then you have to rest. That's just, you can't, you can't fight it. Okay, so the next question is, are you afraid of giving birth? I feel like right now I'm not afraid because I'm not really thinking about it. But I feel that when that time comes, like when my water breaks, when it's time to go to the hospital, 
when we get in the nitty gritty, I'm gonna be like, oh shit. Like, that's when I'm gonna get nervous. Like, that's when I'm gonna get scared. But as of right now, like, no, I'm not, I'm not honestly even thinking about birth. And then last but not least, when are you due? When is your due date? And what is the gender? Y'all, that is the question that I got so much. Like, do you know what you're having? Do you know what you're having? Do you know what you're having? Yes, I know what I'm having. Now I know what I'm having because my gender reveal passed already, which stay tuned because I'm going to do it a get ready with me and show you guys the gender reveal, but I don't want to tell y'all what I'm having right now. Some of y'all may already know actually because I posted it on my Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. My due date is December 21st. Like y'all, I'm having a Christmas baby. December 21st, like really? four days before Christmas, that's, what? That is bizarre to me, which I'm hoping that she comes at, at least a week or two early. I don't know. I don't know if a week or two early is even healthy, but hopefully I really want her to be born in like the beginning of December. Just so that it's not so close to Christmas because December 21st is right there. But yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered all the questions thoroughly. Um, and I hope maybe that my pregnancy story helps somebody. Like, I didn't really go too, too deep. I kind of just answered the questions. But anybody that's out there pregnant and young or not young and pregnant and you just feeling lost or you just need some support, you definitely have my support. Like, I am sending my support all day. Don't worry. Like, don't worry. It's going to be okay. It's going to work out. You got this. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe because like I said, y'all need to stay tuned for the gender reveal and I'll see you guys next time.